Shimon HaTzadik, also known as Simon the Just, was a prominent Jewish high priest, Kohen Gadol, during the Second Temple period. He was the first Tana and the last member of the Anshei Knesset Hagdola, the men of the Great Assembly, receiving the Torah tradition from his teachers, the last prophets, and faithfully continuing the holy task of guiding the Jewish people. Fortunately, a great leader, Shimon HaTzadik deftly steered the people through uncharted waters. As Kohen Gadol and head of the Sanhedrin, he embodied both religious and political power. In the absence of the monarchy, the Kohen Gadol represented the nation to the outside world. Previously, it was a purely religious office. Indeed, he was so fair, just, and beloved that Shimon was one of the very few people to receive the appellation Hatzadik, the righteous. His leadership coincided with the rise of Alexander the Great, king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon, a powerful figure in history known for his conquests and his wisdom. In Yoma Daf 69, Aleph, it says, a dramatic account of a confrontation between Shimon HaTzadik and Alexander the Great. It was in 3448, the 25th of the Hebrew month of Tevet. It's called the day of Mount Gerizim, on which no eulogy is allowed because it's a holiday. On that day, the Kutim petitioned Alexander of Macedon Alexander the Great, to have our temple destroyed, and he permitted them to do it. When Alexander marched through the land of Israel, bringing Persian rule to an end, he stood at the gates of Jerusalem with evil intentions regarding it, causing the city's inhabitants to tremble with fear. Filled with trepidation, the Jews sent a delegation of Kohanim, led by Shimon HaTzadik, all dressed in their priestly garments. Shimon donned the Bigdei Lavan, the white garments that he wore on Yom Kippur when he entered the Holy of Holies, the Kodesh Kodashim. And he went out to go and to meet Alexander to Antipatris, which is around Petach Tikva. And he escorted by dignitaries of Jerusalem with torches in their hands. When Alexander of Macedon saw them approaching in the distance, he asked the Kutim, who are these men? The Kutim answered, they are the Jews who have rebelled against you. As soon as Alexander met Shimon HaTzadik face to face, he descended from his chariot, bowed down to him, and the servants protested. They say, such a great king as yourself bows down to that Jew? And Alexander replied, this face appeared to me before every battle which I won. Alexander asked the Jews, why have you come to see me? And they replied, is it possible that the very temple where we pray for you and for your empire should be destroyed through the misleading petitions of those idolaters? Who are these idolaters? inquired the king. And so the Jews replied, the Kutim who stand before you, I deliver them into your hands. Treat them as you wish, was Alexander's reply. The Kutim were dragged to Mount Gerizim and their temple was destroyed in the same manner that they had intended to destroy our holy temple. Shimon HaTzadik took Alexander the Great on a tour of the temple. Alexander, super impressed, requested that the marble image of himself be placed in the temple. But of course, Shimon said it's not possible because it's forbidden for the Jews to have images and certainly not in the temple. Instead, he suggested an alternative way of memorializing the occasion of the emperor's visit to the holy city. That would be that all male babies born that year would receive the name Alexander. The emperor liked the idea, and that's how the name Alexander became part of the set of names conferred upon Jewish male babies. Shimon HaTzadik served as Kohen Gadol for 40 years. It's known that during those years, the Anshei Knesset Hagdola was quite active. The rituals of Kiddush and Havdalah were introduced. Blessings were formulated over various kinds of food. And the reading of the Haftarah was added to the service on Shabbat and on festivals, on Chagim. Shimon HaTzadik's influence extended far beyond this encounter. His commitment to Torah study, to service of God, to acts of kindness, it left a lasting legacy, emphasizing the values that continue to guide Jewish communities all the way up until today. 
The connection with Shimon HaTzadik and the mitzvah of Nitila Yadayim, our 100% pure copper Nitila cup, is really profound. See, the copper cure served the Kwanim in the Beit HaMikdash, allowing them to purify themselves before commencing their holy service. This connection is reflected in the mitzvah of Netilat Yadaim, where we purify our hands similarly to the Kohanim, who Hashem Himself commanded to wash. And now, you can partner with us too, to bring this connection to the kever of the Kohen Gadol Shimon HaTzadik in Jerusalem, to remind visitors of the beauty of this mitzvah, honor the memory of this great Sadiq, this Kohen who utilized, who would have utilized the Kiyor, Hanechoshet, and take part in our project of bringing Netila to Kivret Sadikim in honor of your loved ones. Netila cups are available at the Kotel, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Kever Rachel, Rambam, Marat HaMachpila, and other holy places. So I want to encourage you to dedicate a Netila cup with personal engraving at the Kever of Shimon HaTzadik. Spots are limited, so send us a message or reach out to us by info at netila.com. Tisku l'mitzvot.